Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel Trouble Free. In this video, I'm going to explain you about the types of data in cluster analysis. That is, what types of data you can use in cluster analysis, what types of data can be used to form clusters. Okay, that we are going to understand in this video. So before so we have four types of data actually we are going to discuss about four types of data before discussing about data let us see what are the data structures that are supported okay so we have two data structures actually one is data matrix and the other one is the dissimilarity matrix okay so first data matrix here in the data matrix the data is represented by a table or n by p matrix n by p matrix is nothing but the rectangular matrix not square matrix in square matrix you will have number of rows and number of columns equal right that means n by n matrix it is not n by n matrix you will be representing it in form, form of a n by p matrix okay so here you can represent data in two ways either by a table or either by a matrix a rectangular matrix okay so in the matrix obviously this is how a matrix look like right a b c d e f this is a matrix so here in this matrix we have rows and we also have columns right so what do rows represent and what do columns represent rows will represent the real world entities that is you can say simply names name of the person or name of the student or name of the uh, item anything so all names will be present in rows in the columns what you will have is properties of these entities that is for example it is a employee um, table let us take so in the rows you will have the name of employees like e1 e2 like that here in the columns you will have the properties like employee id salary department like that got it this is data matrix so in data matrix you'll be representing data either in the form of a table or in the form of a rectangular matrix and in the table or in the matrix the rows will be representing the real world entities like names whereas the columns will be representing the properties of these elements got it so after this we have the second data structure that is a dissimilarity matrix dissimilarity matrix is mainly to identify the dissimilarities between two objects in order to identify the dissimilarities between two objects you will be using this dissimilarity matrix okay for this dissimilarity matrix we don't have different representations we have only one representation that is n by n matrix which is nothing but square matrix got it this is about the dissimilarity matrix two data structures we have and dissimilarity matrix i'll show you the representation as well so uh, this is how the dissimilarity matrix will look if you can see it is a square matrix n by n square matrix and it has all the diagonal elements as 0 1 1 is 0 2 2 is 0 3 3 is 0 and so on n n is 0 so all the diagonal elements are zeros and here this d is nothing but distance okay done so these two are the data structures dissimilarity matrix and data matrix next types of data types of data is actually very simple to remember we have four types of data interval scale data binary categorical variables and mixed variables okay very easy to remember don't worry first interval scale variables interval scale variables are nothing but you already know what are intervals 10 to 20 is one interval 20 to 30 is one interval like that the data is divided into number of intervals continuous variables will be there discrete variables will not be there discrete means separate separate variables will not be there like one two three like that separate variables will not be there got it first what we will do here in interval based is if we are having individual data in order to convert that data into interval scale variables what we will do is first individual data should be con should be first you have to do the data standardization data standardization means what you have to do means you need to remove the units that is you have to convert the variables into unitless variables suppose you have data like 4 kgs 3 lb 6 pounds 10 grams like that you have different different variables so what you have to do is you need to remove the units for all these data okay then it is said to be standard data got it first you have to do the da data standardization process okay first you have to con convert the data into continuous data before converting it into the continuous data you have to do the data standardization data standardization is nothing but removing the units of the data 
okay then for the standardized data you have to calculate the mean absolute deviation so based on this deviation you will be dividing the data into number of intervals got it understood so this is about interval scale variables interval scale variables are nothing but you will have the variables in form of intervals not discrete variables got it so after this the next category is binary variables so this is also very simple binary means it has two values only either one or zero okay it has only two states either one or zero zero is nothing but the variable ab is absent if it is zero the variable is absent if it is one the variable is present that's all nothing and here in binary variables we have two subtypes actually okay so one is symmetric binary variables and the other is asymmetric binary variables so what do you mean is so you in case of symmetric you can change the values of the variables according to your wish the states of the variables can be changed for example you have two categories male female for male you have given value like 0 and for female you have given value like 1 okay now you can change the values of male and female like if you want to change you can give female as 0 and male as 1 got it you can do this in case of symmetric binary variables got it but in case of asymmetric binary variables you cannot do that again for this also we have one example suppose covid so covid positive means what you have covid covid negative means what you do not have covid right this is what actually means so you can you change it according to your wish negative means no positive means i mean negative means i have covid positive means i don't have covid you cannot change the rule right so whatever you can change according to your wish will come under asymmetric binary whatever you can change sorry whatever you can change according to your wish will come under asymmetric binary whatever you cannot change as according to your wish will come under symmetric binary got it this is about binary variables and the third category is categorical variables i'll tell you so in categorical variables are nothing but the data which can be divided into various categories suppose if you are having student data you can divide it into different categories like pass and fail or male and female or uh, you know based on sections or anything you can divide it so whatever data you can divide it into categories whatever variables you can divide it into categories are called categorical variables got it and again in this also we have two types nominal ordinal okay nominal means what ordinal means what i'll tell you nominal is nothing but no particular order okay so when you are categorizing the variables when you are categorizing you need not follow any particular order for example that is no particular internal order is defined for this okay for example here our gender is the variable and this male and female are categories okay so you can categorize into male female or first you can keep female that is here you can keep female and here you can keep male sorry male right so first male female or female male any order you can arrange them that is what nominal variables are but in case of ordinal variables you have to maintain a particular order right so when you are doing it when you are categorizing the data you need to maintain you need to uh, you know stick on to a particular order okay for example temperature in case of temperature you have three value values like low medium high low mean so you cannot change the value right you cannot change it as medium low high of course you can but it will not look good right so here female male male or male female nothing will be but problem. here the data should be in an order like low medium high or high medium low like that the data should be in an order so that is what ordinal means okay next mixed variable now, mixed variables are nothing but it is a combination of different types of variables like you can combine binary variables ordinary variables nominal variables interval scale variables different kinds of variables you can combine them that is what will come under the mixed variables that's all got it so this is all about this video types of data that you can use in clustering 
so in the next video i'll be explaining about each of the clustering methods we have got it thanks for watching the video till the end if you're still having any doubts just let me know in the comment section i'll definitely try to clear all your doubts for sure so 